All right, this video is for the new Linux users. If you want a very easy way to bump up your CPU frequencies while you're playing games and then changing them back to be more power efficient when you're not, this is the video for you. Stick around. Low, my frequencies are low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up uh, a terminal here. We can work in the home directory, that's perfectly fine. That's actually easier. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something really easy we're gonna go sudo apt install cpu frequency utils utilities so basically cpu frequency utilities but that it's cpu freak utils that's what it looks like <laughs> so we press enter you can see i've already installed mine you're welcome to go and install yours if you if you wish to do so it should be available on most ubuntu based um, linux distributions and then once that is installed you have access to a very neat little tool. Now you do need sudo privileges to change your CPU frequencies and governors and things like that. So do type it with sudo. So we do sudo CPU frequency, but we won't use utilities here. We'll say dash set. Okay, there's some other things included in the package. You're welcome to look it up. CPU frequency set. Then we're gonna go dash C, that's for core. So this is your core number. So you're gonna set it per core, uh, which is also nice depending on what work or workflow you're doing or perhaps you're playing a, a game that only uses uh, one or two cores then you can just make sure that they maxed out not your whole cpu so set that to zero it starts at zero so on my six core processor here i'll be going from zero to five so zero and then dash g g is going to change your governor and i'm going to set it to performance per four months press enter I've already typed in my password recently, so it's still good for me for sudo, but it might ask you for a password. Now, if we click back to this launcher for Tomb Raider, we see that the first core is now running at a much, much higher frequency, even though the usage is low. So by default, it will be on on-demand on most distributions. That's just to conserve power. Um, so as demand for the CPU increases, it does increase the frequency, but it's very, very unstable. It's very up and down. So if you want to do the rest of your cores, you're going to have to go down to change the zero into one, two, three, one, 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 one. You're just going to do all of that. So there is an easy way. You don't want to do this every time before you go and play a game. Sometimes you just want to run a quick command, jump into your game, and then afterwards have a quick command to, to change that back. So one way to do that is to write yourself a little script. So I've written two scripts. Um, let me show you the first one. So I'm going to press tab here to autofill game. Oh, come on. oh, there we go. Game mode. <laughs> so I've written all of those into one little script and I can run it and it will just change all of them at the same time. Um, notice how there's sudo in front of each thing there. So I can just say bash and then game mode. And then it will ask you for your password and then you'll see all the cores are now bumped up to performance mode so they run at much much higher clock speeds still varying somewhat in terms of uh, with usage but much much higher much more stable and then I wrote another one that changes it back to on demand and you can call them whatever you want to call them honestly so you can see here now that I've changed it and it's now running a lot better so let me show you how you can set up your own little bash scripts here using these ones over here uh, let me show you the output for normal mode or not the output sorry the uh, input for normal mode there we go so you can see that instead of performance on, on the end i just wrote on demand very very easy so super easy to to write little uh, scripts and stuff um, especially for this purpose so what we're going to do is we're going to use something called nano if it's not installed, it, it might prompt you to install it. You can just use sudo apt install nano, but in most situations, it's going to be installed. So nano is a text editor. Then you type the name of your script. So you can say like script CPU or whatever the case may be, dot sh. Press enter. That will start editing this file. Now this file doesn't yet exist. Um, once you save it, it will, it will exist. Then we're going to type in the command. So what you want to do is you want to do sudo, uh, sudo, then uh, cpu free. 
frequency or crick dash set. Don't worry about the colors, it's just for when you're writing code. Uh, so don't worry about the colors, different colors changing. Then you want to type in your first uh, CPU, which will be zero, dash, I mean, sorry, space, then dash G, space. And then for this one, we want to do performance. So performance. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your mouse now and you're going to copy this. And then you can't actually change the position of the cursor with the mouse. So you need to use your arrow keys on the keyboard for that. Um, and then just control V, enter, control V, enter, control V, enter for however many um, cores that you might have. So I've got six, so I'm going to do one more. And then this includes threads. So if you've got like six cores and another six threads, you want to do another six lines, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then you go and say one, two. So this will. By writing this little script, it's going to save you from having to do this, you know, over and over and over again. Um, every time you just want to bump it up. Um, yeah, so once you've finished typing that up, we press Control O to save, Enter to actually write it out and save it, and then Control X. Um, all the controls are at the bottom there. Now, if we cat script. If we see what I've written there, that's what you see there. Okay. Now let's try and run it without doing anything else. Let's see if it actually runs. Okay. It should be performance mode now. Awesome. If you get an error and it says that it can't run it, that means it's you haven't, um, you don't have the permissions to actually execute it. Then it's quite easy. So this is only for when you have an error. Uh, Ch mod say so u plus x that would make it executable and then you just write whatever you want to your script name so you press enter and now it's technically executable so if you if you did have an error if it didn't run earlier you definitely want to have that now it'll run perfectly fine now you basically do the same thing so we're gonna go nano and then say say a different name so that was script cpu to make it performance um, now we can name it unscript maybe okay <laughs> uh, or default or whatever you really want to call it um, and now basically i'm gonna copy that in but i'm gonna change the performance to on demand on demand um, now keep in mind if you restart your machine it'll go back to whatever the default was so if your default was not on demand it's just going to change it, but on demand is a pretty decent one for like day-to-day -day usage and, and whatnot. Um, cool. Once that's done, you're going to take. In the last case, it's copy. And then we just going to enter. Control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. We're going to make it have copies. Make sure we got those, and then we're just going to update this to one, two, three, etc., etc. You guys get the idea. So I'm going to exit out. I'm not actually going to do the save modified buffer no, no. Um, because I already have my my normal script here. So I'm going to run my normal script. Clear, and I'm gonna just run my normal script to get back into. Actually, let's stay in performance, but I just want to run my game. Uh, one, there we go. So, there we go, guys. Um, I'll show you some gameplay now, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Have fun. See the CPU frequencies are quite stable here because of that performance governor. Some of the textures are still there. much, much more. 
more stable frame rates as uh, you know, things aren't constantly trying to chop and change based on, on usage. Um, very, very nice while you're playing games. And the temperature, if you have a decent killer, it's still pretty decent. I mean, my CPU is only sitting at 55 degrees on the Wraith Prism cooler. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And do visit my website. The link is in the description. Have a great one.